like to do a test glide first. Or we'll just gently open the throttle and see what happens. Okay guys, look at that. Wish me luck. Hi guys, Cliff here. So I've just got back from the maiden flight of the Ajax. Uh, I'll show you the video in a minute, but I'll just uh, just let me clear the, uh, just build in the Polaris. Let's move that one off a minute. How did she perform? I'm really pleased. Uh, those of you who are uh, channel members have seen the photograph of me giving the old thumbs up at the field. Uh, she flew really well, actually. Uh, I thought, shall I go for test glides or anything like that? And I thought, no, let's just go for it. So I used about hmm, half throttle, maybe. <laughs> it was way too much. But she flew straight out of my hand. It turns out that the rudder is really effective. So that's the size of the rudder. It's half of the area of the fin, really, just under. And I've got the one elevator on one side. Well, to be honest... Uh, the elevator didn't seem to make a lot of difference. The model climbed when I opened the throttle and obviously came down when I closed the throttle. So um, hard to tell. There was a light wind, one, two mile an hour, uh, which was throwing it around a little bit because don't forget the whole thing only weighs 111 grams, four ounces. Uh, but I flew it using my new Radio Master uh, transmitter from Flying Tech. It's the first model I've flown on the transmitter. Um, I've also got the posh, let me show you a minute, I've also got the posh um, travel box. But anyway, uh, the transmitter obviously performed faultlessly and I set it for four minutes which seemed about right. Uh, I've got the 280 milliamp hour battery which so I, I set it for four minutes on the 280 milliamp hour battery. I think I could have elongated quite a lot because I was opening the throttle quite a lot trying to um, get the uh, model trimmed, which was pretty much straight straight out. Um, yeah, the, fly, the transmitter, of course, I bought from Flying Tech in the UK. Check out their website. Excellent service. Um, so anyway, without uh, going on any further, the model flew beautifully. I tried to take off on one point. You'll see on the video, uh, the elevator didn't have a lot of uh, authority on the ground. So I and it spun around to the left anyway. So I aborted that. But uh, it hand launches easily, of course. And I thought it looked fantastic. Today is 12 mile an hour wind with heavy showers blowing through. I went to a different flying field that I normally go to. It's right down in the valley and surrounded by big trees, except for the direction the wind, in fact, was coming from. So it was blowing down a little bit. But occasionally the wind would stop and I took advantage of that. A couple of dog walkers around, waited for them to leave. And uh, and away we went. Um, let's uh, let's have a look at the video and hope you enjoy it. And if you do, then give us the old thumbs up. Cheers, guys. Bye. I'm at a different venue and there's little doggies walking around but although the wind's blowing it's not too bad down here. I think those amount of bands will be okay. Uh, so I've got um, I've got a very light wind coming from straight down but it is only a couple of miles an hour so I'm hoping that uh, that's not too much. So let's just power up. Now, when the wind gusts, it gusts, but if I can just get it up in the air. A um, couple of guys suggested that maybe the CG uh, might be further forward than a free flight model. Uh, so I'm just going to hedge my bets and put the battery right at the front there, which brings the center of gravity a little bit further forward. I haven't got a huge amount of right rudder. No use me saying the wind's up because nobody can see it, but there you are, see, it's blowing a gale. I wonder if I had to do a test glide first or just gently open the throttle and see what happens. Okay, guys, look at that. Wish me luck. Well, 
Well, I've got good rudder authority. I'm going to go left now. Rudder works well. Might be tail heavy, you know. I'll see if I can put the battery further forward again. <laughs> I've boarded that landing because the dog was coming. When the wind drops, it's beautiful. I'm not going above about quarter throttle. All right, here we come. Gliding in, landing. <laughs> oh. Is that maiden flight smile again, guys? That was pretty good. Uh, a couple of minutes flying time there, I think. Maybe three. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and just have one more short flight uh, with uh, a little bit more CG. Doesn't like the wind. No more than quarter throttle. Rudder seems really responsive. To be honest, I haven't touched the elevator much. Shut the throttle to come down, open the throttle to go up. So until the wind uh, behaves a little bit more, I think um, it's going to be hard to judge. But certainly light winds. So I'll move the battery as far forward as I can and we'll give it another short go. Cheers! Okay, here we go guys. Let's see if we can take off the ground. Ah, so I think it's true to say the elevator doesn't have a lot of effect on the ground. So let's... That was pretty good effort for considering the grass. Okay, here we go. Another little flight. I think it needed slightly more throttle than that. It is quiet, isn't it? Yeah, I can't judge what the elevator's doing. It it does have effect, but right, land in. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Superb. Well, I think that's fair to say that was really successful. I think I'll have to convert another one. Thanks to Ian and Cheryl for the gift of the aeroplane. It's been a fantastic build and uh, I think pretty fantastic maiden as well. Really happy with that. So, if you like what you've seen, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and uh, 
check out the would you mind press just hold that while I take the battery out Oops. and uh, if you wouldn't mind check out the join button uh, for memberships helps to support the channel thanks guys see you in the next video cheers